What's going on guys, this is my Slayer back with another video. If you guys haven't checked out my last video from yesterday, uh, pretty much it was my top builds in NHL 20. And today I'm deciding to switch things up. I talked about a little bit in that video, but we're actually going to be doing player builds for your ESHL player based off of actual NHL players. So to start off, you guys can see on the screen, we're doing, starting off with Patrick Kane. Now. I think this is a fun little series I can do because, you know, we all watch hockey, we all have our favorite players, so when you're playing the NHL game as your own personal player, sometimes you want to make them play like a certain player that you like to watch in real life, so I think that's where the series could actually do pretty good. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to probably do a whole bunch of these today, so after this, I finish making this video right now. I'll probably start getting into like a Sidney Crosby, Alex Ovechkin, one of those types. So I'll probably just make a whole bunch of them, save them up, and then post them for you guys. So then if you guys recommend a player, I'm able to get that video out to you guys right away. Because like I said, with my whole entire scheduling and how my my uh, daily life is going to be changing, I got to like focus on getting some videos done beforehand. So jumping right in, guys, Patrick Kane is a, I put him as a dangler. Now, this is up for debate because Patrick Kane is very good at passing. He's also a very good shooter, so some people would consider him a sniper. But I had to look at all the options that we had, and I think the dangler is the best one you're going to be able to find. Uh, 5 foot 10 is Patrick Kane's height. At least that's what Google says. I may be, It might be 5'11", it might be whatever. Uh, and then 177 pounds is the weight. He shoots left, but like I said, if you want to make this for your own personal player, you can have it shooting left or right. And then we went with qu quick wrister two and quick first step two. Now, obviously, like I said, if you don't have these traits yet, if you just started off on the game, you get all the traits by level 25. I'm pretty sure all the primary and secondary traits. Special ones you get later, but I think at level 25, you pretty much have all the default, like, number ones, because there's Quick Rister 1, and then there's Quick Rister 2. So if you have Quick Rister 1, you could put that on until you get Quick Rister 2. But we're going with that because I think Patrick Kane has a very, very good uh, wrist shot. The only downside why people might not agree is because he does have a decent slap shot. Uh, take a look at him on, like, the power play. He's taking a lot of one-timers, all that, but I think for the most part, when you're trying to play as Patrick Kane, he uses his speed, the ability to get down the ice and get around defenders to get that quick wrist shot off. So I went to quick wrister two and then quick first step two. As you can see over on the right in the speed column, you have 87 speed, 91 acceleration, which is arguably one of the best in the game. I don't, I don't think there's any, any build that has a faster speed than 87. I may be wrong on that. I think there's might be 88, but 91 acceleration is very, very, very high. Um, you also got that 87 endurance. Your agility is still an 85. And obviously, as Patrick Kane, he's not a fighter. He's not not looking for strength, so you don't really need that that body checking. You don't need the fighting skill and all that. Uh, Patrick Kane's about an average defender, you know. So I think shot blocking and stick checking for 75. His de defense warrants 73. Or Pretty solid for that. Um, Face-offs with 85 isn't really necessary unless you're trying to play as a center Patrick Kane. But most people that are playing as this build, I'd strongly recommend playing as a wing because you won't be stuck in the middle of the ice playing as a center. On a, if you're on the one of the wings, you can get down and up and down the side of the ice. So uh, Then you go over to the offensive stats. You have 88 offensive awareness, 90 deking, 86 puck control, 82 passing, 82 hand-eye, which are all really, really good. And then, like I said, the slap shot's the only thing getting negatively affected. But that's because we want to boost the wrist shot up as much as we can. Because, like I said, I think a lot of people overlook the wrist shot in this game. I'd prefer the wrist shot over slap shots because of the ability to locate. Uh, and a lot of times, the wrist shot accuracy is a lot better. You're able to put that, that shot on with the power and then locate it better because of your accuracy so pretty much the then the final is just drive the net like i said this build for patrick kane is more of like that get in, in deep 
get around the defenders and put on a quick little sh like a wrist shot a little special deke to get in there anything like that so uh i would i was thinking about doing face creations too with it so if you wanted to make your guy look exactly like patrick kane the only problem is i can't really it's difficult because there's only default head so i decided for now i'm not going to do that i do have an, a patrick kane video from nhl 17 i believe which was a creation which was the best i could do but you guys want to check that out but other than that guys that's pretty much the video uh like i said leave some suggestions down below of other players i should do uh, and i'm just gonna end this video now because I, like i said i got three or four more videos i want to make with these builds but until next time guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later